and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Advent is a season, as a season, is, a, is the lesser of the two great Christian fasts during the year. They're seasons of preparation. The first, of course, being Lent, leading to the greatest feast of the Christian year, the Resurrection. This, the lesser fast, leading to his first nativity, his first advent, to his first coming. Our gospel reading leads us to John the Baptist and quotes those beautiful words from Isaiah the prophet. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. There shall be a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill made low. You can almost hear the orchestra's swirling sounds playing the notes that Handel, so handily, broke <laughs> down so many years ago. Every valley shall be filled in. Those iconic notes from Handel's Messiah. What a message. What a joyous hope hopeful ministry that John brings to the people. He's coming as the forerunner of Messiah. He's coming with those great words that Isaiah spoke about. Joyous, hopeful words. The people came from everywhere to hear him and to be baptized by him in the Jordan River. To hear the golden, beautiful nuggets of joy coming from his lips. And when they came, what beautiful words of honey dripped from his mouth. They came to be consoled by the prophet. And he began to preach and he said to them, You brood of vipers! Who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Well, wow. They were coming to be consoled, but, you know, I've read the prophets, and if I want to be consoled, I don't think it's the prophets I would go to. They're not really known for comforting words most of the time. John focuses on behavior. If you have two tunics, give one to the one who has none. If you have food, give them food. For the tax collectors, quit stealing. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Soldiers, be content with your pay. Behave yourself. Keep your nose clean. Think of others before yourself. It's simple. Just be good. <laughs> and if that's not enough, don't forget, Santa has a list. <laughs> and he's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. That could only almost be John the Baptist checking his notes about you, looking into your life. How good have you really been? <clears throat> Clean up your act. But cleaning up your act right before Christmas, Santa sees right through that. <laughs> so does God. The most honest Christmas song, I think, that has ever dawned any of the airwaves is the one where the kid honestly assesses his place on the list and sings, I ain't getting nothing for Christmas. <laughs> Because I ain't been nothing but bad. <laughs> but John the Baptist and Santa say, just be good. Just be good. Thanks, Aunt B. <laughs> but how do we do that? If we people could pull that off, we really would need no savior at all, would we? There'd be no war, no theft, no murder, no deceit. No envy, there'd be no bombs, no bullets. This would be a paradise where we all cared for one another. And no one was left out. 
Nobody left behind. And every attempt of people to create such a world as that has led to gulags, concentration camps, death, famine, and genocide. So John says, repent. Luther called repentance the terror of the conscience. It is the re recognition that all is not right with me, and I need representation before the great judge of all. King David said it so beautifully in his 51st Psalm. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions. My sin is ever before me against you, O Lord. And you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. But renew a right spirit within me. David understood there was nothing good in himself. And he had to get anything good that could come to him from God alone. And he continued that beautiful 51st song of repentance. And we sing it to this day. You know, it nullifies the gospel to make the message of Christ about behavior. But you hear it all the time. Just be good Christians. Christians are good. Christians are forgiven by Jesus Christ. They know their iniquity. They're like David. I have done evil in your sight, but Lord, you cleanse me, and I shall be clean. Jesus did not willingly go to the cross because he had the ability to be, because we had the ability to be good on our own, but because we are helplessly addicted to sin and cannot free ourselves. God saw that we were hopelessly lost in selfish ambition and selfish concern. And it is to, it is we who often cannot apprehend our inability to do good and to be good. That's why David make David, that's what makes David so genius. He understood that if there is any hope for me at all, God must move on my behalf. God has to be the one who answers. He must make an atonement for me. And that is exactly what God did he became man and lived the perfect life that we are required to and then died in our place on the cross. Jesus is our divine atonement. In him are our sins and iniquities covered and washed clean in his blood. We add nothing to his finished work. He is the Lamb of God slain from the foundations of the earth. Our entire posture is and must be humbly receiving the gifts he offers, where he offers them. Christ offers this atonement in his means of grace, in the word, and in the sacraments that we are here to celebrate today. As God's people gather around these elements, Christ comes present for us for the forgiveness of our sins. It is here as we gather that He promises to do this for us here in the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, is the forgiveness of sins. This, right here, right now, this is the feast of victory for our God. For the Lamb who was slain has begun His reign. Wayward children, come to Him Receive of Him. Righteousness from Jesus is yours in faith. Here He lavishes out. It, he lavishes it out to us. As you believe, so shall you receive. Amen.